Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few, or one of, the Quicksilver Industries weapons that I built this year. This is the Quicksilver Industries Greyhound, Greyhound Battle Rifle. Uh, this is the Battle Rifle version. The Designated Marksman version will be in a separate video. Uh, this is complete version number one. I did quite a few Quicksilver Industries weapons this year. This is one of them. Uh, this is a really futuristic looking model. I really like the way that this turned out. It's like a FAMAS almost. Uh, I don't remember what it's chambered in, but it was super fun to make because the entire thing is ambidextrous. So let's go ahead and take a look at it from out of the blue render image into the LDD image. So this is what we have. This is pretty legit. Uh, this has a folding rear sight so that you can put any optics that you want up here. Uh, this carry handle doubles as the place that your sights go. It's a pretty basic sighting system. You just have a rear red dot and a front red post. Like I said, pretty basic. Shell ejection port as ambidextrous as on both sides. Uh, this uses the same style of cover that my uh, Patu uses. You simply pull this down and then you can switch it over here to switch um, shoulders. Uh, there is a lot of stud transitions going on, so bear with me. This whole section right here is five studs. The handguard or the uh, the carry handle up here is four studs. The rail systems are three studs. Uh, the sights are four studs. The charging handle itself is one stud, this portion, and then the rest of it's two studs uh, linked together by Technic. The low receiver through here is six studs. This section back here is an amalgamation of four, two, and then side plate building. Um, the stock portion back here is four studs. The grip is four studs. Trigger guard is two studs. The front foregrip here for the trigger guard is uh, four studs. The trigger is one stud. And then this is five studs for the handguard, three stud wide rail guard or rail systems all around. As you can see, there is a gas block in this weapon. It does go all the way back. And there is also a three stud wide barrel because that's what happens when you have five stud wide um, handguards. So the barrel goes as far back as it can. Uh, I don't think it goes throughout the whole gun. Oh, it does. Imagine that. Go me. Here's the barrel, all the way back here. Uh, charging handle is connect connected directly to the bolt. It is a reciprocating charging handle. You can just kind of stick two fingers in here to yank it on back. Uh, pretty simple, five or three stud wide magazine with um, a little bit of detailing built on the sides here uh, for uh, kind of grooves to grab it by with a four stud wide plate on bottom. And the dexterous magazine release, you simply push this button over here so that the magazine can drop out, or you push this section right here to swing this end out and it will drop the magazine as intended. There is a sling that uh, position right through there. Brass deflector is on either side of the shell ejection port. An ambidextrous fire selector right here, which does work as it should. You can move it. Uh, this side is longer than this side, so that this side uh, does not get in the way of your shooting hand. Uh, four stud wide grip in the back that shortens down to three stud wide uh, for a nice effect uh, through there. Uh, brake based trigger system or trigger. Uh, front foregrip here for recoil reduction, or you have this rail space here for other types of foregrips if you prefer them. I want to say thank you to Shockwave9001. He actually commented on the Marjorie, I believe. Um, he's a really cool guy, I'm not going to lie. He makes fantastic weapons. I can't wait to see more of what he has. I can't wait to build more of what he has. Uh, I actually started the Hellcat and never finished it this year. Uh, we might take a look at that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's, there's a lot of guns out there that I want to build uh, so few time. And sometimes you get unmotivated, and that's where we've been at for longest of times now. Anyhow, uh, yeah, this is just a simple another Quicksilver Industries weapon. Uh, really, really cool futuristic designs. Uh, they really challenge uh, my weapon building skills because there's a lot of stud transitions for these models themselves, but this one turned out really, really well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, comment, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one.
See you guys later in another YouTube video. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for social media posts and my website at bluejaythemeister.lubi.com. See ya.